So what I mean is that uh, obtaining your degree, if you want to go via the university, you're going to spend much. That is in the UK or Ireland. The minimum you will see is like £9,000 and above. But when you check colleges, you find out the option of 4000 and above. Though there may be under expenses like textbooks and so. But compare the price, 9000 minus four or 5000 you have 4000 remaining in your account. But the difference is, in the uh, colleges, you go through diploma, advanced diploma. Then after your advanced diploma, so in universities, will accept you. They will have recommendation in those schools. They will accept you into the third year, the last year to for your final uh, degree program. So you will still have your degree. And remember, you pay four to five thousand a year, right, for your tuition. But for a university, you pay seven, eight minimum. That's if they give you scholarship a year. So calculate how much you spend for three years in the university and calculate how much you spent in college for three or four years. There is a huge difference. And number two, consider going to um, Ireland, Scotland, instead of staying in the UK. Avoid London by all means. Unless if you have a place where you know you have accommodation, then you can handle other things, other living expenses by yourself because accommodation is a very big issue in London. Yes, even when you go to Ireland or Scotland, even consider going to smaller places. When you go to those smaller places, you are going to even save more because the living expenses is even more lower compared to the cities. So that's what you would do to save money. It doesn't matter. Who cares? You study in the UK. And at the end, after going through the college, at the end, you obtained your degree. You do your final year in the university and you have your degree. Who cares? So you better use your common sense to know what to do with your life so that you can save money. Don't live your life based on competition. You are the one that will cry and you are the one that will spend money. So be wise. These are the things you should consider to save money if you want to study in the UK.